Let's go back around to let's play Mega Man 2. This is Rostan. And we are tackling Quick Man. <coughs> Excuse me. This is... And that's Quickman C. And also, this is one of the most merciless gimmicks ever. You're about to see it. I'm going to be silent for a bit because this one needs focus. It's pure memorization. And also, you have to be really fast. Here we go. I don't care about that. Yeah, that's the gimmick of Quick Man. <coughs> you have to avoid those things. In oh yeah, those lasers. You have to avoid those lasers. As you're asking, but nothing. Yeah, those lasers are instant death. No matter what much energy you have, the fact they touch you means you're done. And here is the most infamous section of Mega Man 2, except for another one. Here we go. Yeah. You can use a time stopper to basically make it easier for you to do this. But where's the fun in that? Call me masochistic, but I want to do it. And yeah, in case you didn't notice, those guys keep the lights off. Okay, here we go. I was not expecting to do this first try. And no, I'm not using the quick I'm not using the time stopper. If you use it, there is no shame. There is no shame in using a time stopper, but I don't want to use it. Wow. Not a game over? Okay, let's explore that. This game puts you on that power You have to kill these guys, but at the same time, they cut the light. Though it doesn't really matter, you don't get lost. Okay, here we go again. I was way too slow there. Try to have walls as you go, because that will make it way easier for you to keep falling. Also, try to land as close to the edge as you can. <coughs> I'm gonna keep trying. The good thing about that is, the game has the decency to drop your life. Shit, my pro. Caught a cold a while, but a while ago, a few days ago. Uh, how are you guys doing? Yeah. 
The thing is that this section is not hard. And this time I was able to get the other alive. And the tank. You can do it if you take damage. I don't know though how those react to, to invincibility frames. There we go. There is there are no death traps in this place or anything like that, so don't worry about it. <coughs> okay, and then this one you're you're expected to go way too fast. Something that as you can see I'm not that good at. This is gonna be that episode, right? There is one section in the game that I am definitely going to be cheap on. But not this one because I've already done it. It's, I've already done this section without using a time stopper. So that's the only reason I can I'm going I'm not gonna cheap shot this one. My strategy basically is just <clears throat> hog the closest wall because that's usually where the next part is gonna be at. Almost there! Got it! Again, ignore Joe. I'd rather take the hit, in all honesty. How many lives do I got? Uh -huh. Oh, there we go. And yeah, that's how you- that's how I go about that- that area. And yeah, this checkpoint, so... Well, <coughs> so long as you don't die to Joe... You're gonna make it here. Quick man is relentless, and it's really fast. I don't care about dying to him first time because I already took a lot of hit, a lot of damage from Joe. That's also a good strategy. I always find amusement in going in the chambers like that, sorry. This is a good spot. Because he keeps moving, he doesn't. I know that he's a less than half. I'm gonna show you why the time stopper is good against his, his weakness. I'm gonna show it to you. Thing about time stopper is <clears throat> that uh, it only cuts through half his health, and you can't change it once you get it. <laughs> Is you can't ever change the weapon until it runs out. That's also why I don't recommend it because you may have more trouble with Quickman than the than the Death Racer R. Because he is pretty difficult because because of how relentless he is. See how see how quickly he took care of me. So next we take on Metal Man. That's it. This is Rosan, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.